all right back at it again y'all all right gonna finish this up this is part two of the mac anthem uh definitely want to check this axle out i think there's something wrong with it i don't think it is it's just the values of it i think maybe off track i'll have to check it once i get a chance to so we uh i did teleport so we are in Flagstaff now because that was a little too long at 33, 33 hours just wasn't going to cut it. So we still got a little stretch to go anyway because the Clovis is right here. So I might do it again. I don't know. So we're going to go on ahead and get going. I did uh, shop it and um, did couple upgrades got the wheels together in the front uh, alignment back up also uh, I think we went with an eight, 18, uh, 18 speed even fuller transmission instead dropped his axle let's see what it does is losing traction so I'm, I know what to do with that I'm gonna check the values of it more like the values are too high for it or it could be too low and that's why it, why it's pulling like that now when I bring it up there's no problems so I straighten that out Probably at a later date. It won't be. Probably won't be today. Unfortunately. I knew it had to be something. Pulling against the truck. So it's just like I say. Modders. Make sure you check your stuff. Proof read your stuff. Like I said before. Because I, I'm good with checking stuff out. And I know how things are supposed to be. Because I've actually had to format some things. I learned some things. I mean, editing is was the first thing I did learn, and that was with the. Um, so that's one of the dealerships right there. More likely, that's probably going to be either international or Mac. One of the two is not going to be Mac as far as I can see because I don't see. I mean, the Mac truck I'm driving, but that might not be the Mac that they may be um, using. So. I'll probably put that other Mac in just to see if that actually unlocks. But uh, technically, not trying to put too many mods in so things get changed up. Kind of let, trying to let the game play its role a little bit. Other than the truck, that the truck is pretty good. It's just a little hiccup. I'm gonna check it to see. A lot of times you can have a, a marking, a symbol out of out of alignment. It doesn't take much because the game it has to read that kind of stuff. Oh, I made a mistake and hit the button. <laughs> Cut this other map out. Other than that, the truck is pretty good. You know, I might see how far we go. I might give it a couple more hours and then I'll just go on in and spawn to Chavis or Cavis. I think that's it. Clovis. Clovis. I think that's how you say it. 
I'm bad with names. <laughs> just, I like the 18 speed anyway because it's a little bit more robust. And now they're starting to create 18 speed even fuller tra uh, automatic transmissions now. So. Not a bad thing. Might see if I can take one of the automatic ones and see if I can configure one. Just add more gears to it. Have to look through the values of it. I'm surprised nobody created an automatic transmission. 18 speed because that's what they're bringing out. They're bringing them out, you know. And then the um, freight, li not the freight liners, the um, what is, what's that other truck? Western Star. Some of the Western Stars are coming with automatics, you know. So, because they want everybody in their truck, that's why, you know. 18 speed is good because you need those gears for weight. But, uh, you know, take your loan, but, but they trying to create the technology to overshadow that, so. And it's okay, because that's supply and demand, like they say. Supply and demand, that's what they say. Ooh, I'm all over the road. Sorry about that. Yeah, I knew it had to be something wrong. I'm like, what the heck? Is, why is this thing doing that? But it's, it's that... And that may be a... Um, might be a power gear. I might have made it powered. I find out what I did to it. I, I figured it out because you can change the axles. You can make them live. You can make them just a just an axle to, for uh. It should have been a uh. That's technically could have been a pulling axle, but I'm gonna probably make it a regular axle because it technically can be just for weight. You know, this had to be pulling. But the other ones may be dead, so that's probably why it's not pulling properly. <laughs> that one may be pulling faster than the other ones. It may be a pulling, pulling a, a pulling wheel. Even though you never, you don't really see too many pulling wheels in the front. Normally, the front uh, tag axle or drop axle normally is just. A weight wheel, so it's not always a pulling wheel. Normally, your pulling wheel is in the middle, and then or it's in the back, and then they give you um, once you turn that def lock on, then that adds that other differential. So, yeah, but other than that, everything looks good, man. I mean, my frames are up. And I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying this uh, this open beta. I mean, a lot of people don't understand that the game needs to go forward. You know, I don't really care. I'm not trying to stay back in in yesteryears because that's where we were. We didn't have pivot points. We didn't have uh, uh, added stuff. You know, and I refuse to go back <laughs> to that. I want to be moving forward. You know. Now we got suspension. We can adjust our suspensions now. Yeah, so I'm loving it. I'm loving every bit of it. So, oop. Kind of hit the uh, wheel a little bit. Using my, my, uh, my suicide now, so I had to be careful. I got it in a different way. This is wheel is much smaller. I want to put a bigger wheel on here, but I don't want to offset what's already here. Plus, 
I got the buttons here and I want to take away the loop buttons. So. Yeah, but other than that, the truck is, the truck is pretty good. It's in pretty good shape. And we could have kept the transmission in there. Now I see why we had an issue and not go into the uh, chassis files and fix that. And I might have to drop it right back out because a lot of people probably don't know that that's the problem. I know it was, um, you know, because I don't expect a modder to do everything. I mean, you have people that can edit, you have people that can do paint jobs, you got people that do, I guarantee SES don't have just one person doing everything. It, it just, it just, it just would not happen like that. They just won't have it like that. You know. That's how you wear people out. You know. You got one person doing everything. Instead of just having a per specific people doing certain things. You got certain people that do maps. You got certain people that do this. Do that. And then you take advantage of that. Alright. We bypassing. I know we over 100,000 pounds. I don't know why we ended up bypassing. Need to get over. Kind of trying to stay outside so y'all can kind of see the scenery a little bit. We then discovered Gallup. And it's almost like we doing things. I mean, this is stuff that I've unlocked before in other profiles. But when you do it a new profile, you gotta create new profiles. Is what happens, and um, just have to deal with. It. <clears throat> but it's still, you know, a step in the right direction for better things. So. Yeah, but uh, for those that may know how to edit or may know about files and whatnot, what you normally do is um, you have to have Renwar, Ren, uh, same technically the same program you used in order to put the mod into the game. So um, you have Renwar and and, uh, and you have Seven Zip. Either one will do, but. Uh, just depends on the mod. Sometimes you might have to unlock the mod, open up the mod, you unzip the mod, stuff like that. So once you get in, once you click, you'll see the files open up, and you have to go into the definition file um, of the truck. So you go into truck, uh, and once you get, go into the, I mean, go into the actual file that you ha should have truck. You go into truck, then you go into def, then you go into you normally would have after def. Uh, um, let me see if I can remember, because a lot of times I do stuff and don't really, you know, I do it so fast. But there is two files that you can edit: um, the vehicle file as well as the def file. But the def file is the definition files. So normally the chassis file is either in the vehicle file or is in the um, definition file but I'm sure it's in the definition file then you can actually go into your chassis when you go into your chassis you go you need um, uh, in order to open up those and format those because they're actually have to be um, um, uh, reformatted so you'll be able to read it because it's in a it's in the game's language so uh, you have you need Notepad, but I recommend Notepad plus plus is a little bit more user friendly. It took me a minute. I used used to use Notepad a long long time ago, and then when Notepad plus plus came along, it was like I was like, wow, I can't you know I'm thinking I couldn't handle it, and all it was was the colors, and it was more format and uniform. So uh, that's the best 
uh, one to use. So you will actually open up, you will actually click on the SII files. That's what the um, what all these files are technically under, because those are the files that the game reads. And you should see the configurations of all the chassis. Go through the chassis, and once you click on the chassis, then you will see it pop up on the uh, in the notepad. Then you can actually scroll down and change the values. You got some values. Well since uh, for a long time when we first started out in ATS we had power wheels now you got power axles because now they're actual axles they're not running on a on a on a, they're not wheels you know they're not like a bike so they actually have values where they can be controlled you know you can turn them up you can turn them down they can grab traction they can lose traction stuff like that so, <clears throat> a lot of things have evolved. That's like our cabins have evolved, uh, chassis have evolved, the brakes have evolved. You can um, you can um, you can make the uh, tanks bigger. You can make the tanks hold more fuel. You can change the uh, configuration of your motor, uh, your torque. Um, There's a lot of things you can do when it comes down to the to the files. It's, I mean, it, it, even though you could put the put the mod together, you know, you got some that don't even know how to actually add their own engines. They don't know how to grab engines and put them in. They're using default engines and thinking they they doing something. You know, because you put the mod together doesn't mean anything if the, if it doesn't sound good. You know, so you know, and that's what SES is looking at because they looking at the sounds. And they about to upgrade these sounds. I mean, you know, they're they're looking at everything that we're doing and figuring things out. <clears throat> you know, you know, they're following us as we follow them. So, you know, they get input from us, and if we, you know, press upon them enough, they'll get things together like they need to be. You know, so. All right, we have four hours and forty-four minutes. I decided to go on ahead and just run, take this run because I'm already behind time myself in uh, getting off of here. So I'm, I'm not going to do another part. Do another part. So that's why I'm trying to push to do this, finish it up, so it'll be finished in two parts instead of just one part. I mean three parts. So and I don't want to always just use do. A couple hours runs which ain't nothing but 15 minutes 14 minutes 13 minutes I want to be able to have room to talk and speak and, 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 and you know and things of that nature not be rushed because I got to worry about time you know even though trust me I'm all about time because I, I I don't you know I'm not on here all the time so and if I am on here it's only a small amount of time or if I'm on here it's for for good reason you know because I have other things I could be doing and things that need to be done so <clears throat> all right here go Albuquerque I'm gonna go on and unlock this uh this uh map I mean this uh dealership right here coming up because I know that uh by the time I unlock a lot of this stuff by the time we up we um this profile will be ready 4136 even though my other ones will be already ready because this is 55 level 55 I have one that's level 99 and some that are a little bit bigger so those I'm not really worried about but these smaller ones that I don't have that's up to date that they're not up to date so I want to update update them and get them you know get them pretty much up up to part They suppose they change the traffic lights in certain areas. So, as you, yeah. So just like I said, they're they're looking and they're trying to make things better and better because they're playing the game themselves. So they, of course, they will want things to be better and more of a comfort for themselves. You know, that's the only that's the only reason why, you know. They're trying to play the game and try to, you know, do what they can. 
Now I I I don't even remember that. See now they at first now I didn't even add that in there. They put that in there. That's why I said the game is wide open. You don't know what they're doing. Now they just added more cars to the to the uh you know at first it wasn't like that. So That's why I said I'm looking at everything that they're doing. I unlock this Peterbilt dealership. So I thought. Yeah, because I think the trains wasn't that long. Now they started making them longer. And he started making them. It's, they they doing some stuff. I mean, they just trying to bring more stuff out here. And it may be like uh, my buddy, the great simulator, even said. We may have two DLCs because we had Washington, and then we still had another DLC that was uh, that we had to pay for that that was added to uh, that gave us uh, other trailers you know, that we had to pay for. But it was okay, you know. Yeah, because it takes money it takes money for these guys to do the job. You know, you can't expect everything for free. They did it for free for a minute. Now you gotta kind of. It's, it's a business. It's a business deal now. Business. It's all business now. So, you know, it's like when they just finished the um, the uh, what is that called? The breast cancer cancer event. I just got my little fuzzy dice for doing my doing my part. You know, the community finished. I did do one one trip. And then when I found out that uh, if I'm in the open beta, I can't go that back into it. So it was no use. So it was fine. Now that's over with. And now I'm just going to concentrate on uh, going forward. Truck look good with the, with that tag axle on it. I just wish that back axle would have dropped, but that's, I mean, it drops, but it's, I think it's mainly uh, uh just spreads the spreads the weight. <clears throat> it should have been turning, but they probably would add, cause since we don't, since it's not ownable, that's why it it doesn't turn. Yeah, but I think as soon as they make them ownable, the tankers ownable. But I think those are the only things that are not ownable that we don't have yet. We got the one tank, the feed tank that's ownable now. That'll be in uh, in one three six, and then we have the grain trailer. Uh, that's uh, that's a tag axle too. So you can get the stationary axle or you can get the steer axle. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try to finish this up. I got another 10, 15 minutes. Try to get it done, so. I've been pretty much doing videos and testing and stuff and I just didn't want to just test do testing without letting everybody else see what I'm doing so you know I'm, I'm trying to do more commentary do more showing certain things and uh, I don't expect my webcam to always be on I'm gonna try to keep my on my mic on as, as much as I can because that's only fair for everybody you know and you know, I don't want to be always quiet all the time, but sometimes it's, it's good to be quiet sometimes. Enjoy the ride. You know. And I'm gonna probably do a video of actually me actually editing probably this truck maybe. So you'll see exactly what 
I do because uh, I'm still messing around with my OBS still learning some things about that where I can actually um, use the um, um, and I did it did a couple of times did some edits edits and, and uh, some off the off the record stuff you know non gaming stuff so I'm not that good with uh, with the Z mod but um, there's room for improvement for me so I gotta get back in it I've been too busy doing everything else and trying to get some things done domestically between work and trying to take care of other businesses so you know, been extremely busy so Yeah, now we know what what that issue was. I can put this thing back in the economy, but and we gonna have to gas up. And this dude, but don't need to go back to sleep again. trying to go ahead and push it all the way so I get I can gas up and put him to sleep too and that'd be it for that for this video and I'll just move on to the next phase cuz I I got some other trucks I want to run but um kind of probably uh, well the uh, Western Star that's what I wanted the Western Star um, uh, not the 4900, but the 5700 was one I wanted to test it in here because frame rates were crazy. One time I drove it and I wanted to see if the, uh, with the open beta, it would do the same thing. So, okay, we're going to stop here. Let me see. No, we can keep going. Two hours. Two hours, we can push it. He'll be a sleepy soul, but that's all right. At least we'll be done because uh, I didn't want to cut into the video too much, but I did jump ahead because that 33 hours was not going to work. And I probably did something like that in a stream, you know, live stream or something like that. Which that would have been an easy killing four hours off that run. So, so far I've seen the AIs driving doubles. I've seen them driving uh, the heavy haul trailers. Um, let's see what's next. This truck was put together pretty good. Just a couple of individuals that edited it and um, added to it, which is fine. And um, I think this is Frank Peru's truck. And That's another thing. I, 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 I like to see what these AIs be doing. Because a lot of times they don't respond properly like they're supposed to. But if I got beacons going, you should be paying attention. You should be yielding to me, not me yielding to you.
can't believe they made us bypass the uh, uh, the weight station. That's crazy. And I'm hauling hazard materials. I'm, you know. Stay right, and then exit right. Yes, a few of my mods didn't work, but I do have the GTM trucks in here, which I'll take that, because all those trucks, you can add tag axles to them, so I'll take that. I can go on ahead and fuel up while I'm here. Probably start back going, put my headphones back on. I try to make sure my voice sounds is overshadowing the actual sounds of the truck instead of vice versa. Because for a long time I had that issue where the trucks was louder than me. So now I got the mic and now I'm able to uh, be louder than the sounds of the truck, but. Um, that's only the mic picking up the sounds of my speakers because that's the way I have it set up but I can have the headphones but sometimes headphones can be a burden so I want to kind of be um, where I'm not I see that truck it got the beacons on it so why wouldn't this truck got the beacons on it, on the back? So I don't know. Now I can pull in here. I can give, I'm gonna go in and steal. Even though they told us not to get weight, I'm gonna go in and get weight right here. So y'all can see what this weight is and then, then y'all will definitely know. And we got the mechanic shop here. We got a couple mechanic shops here. Right in this area. I'm gonna go in and pay the little fee to get weighed, even though they didn't allow us to get weighed. Eighty-three thousand four hundred and fifty-five pounds. Great, that's exactly. Okay, so you can hop on the scales if you want and then you can actually I'm surprised they actually give it for free cuz I think they actually in reality make them pay <laughs> and it, is he actually stopping Wow that's that is slick they actually pull it in he actually pulled it in maybe that's what they're gonna have us do they're gonna have the, the that's gonna be slick let me see what he does. That, that's what I'm talking about. When I started seeing the AI is actually doing what we're doing. Now he's parking. He's about to shut down. That's going to be that's gonna be slick. Is he going to turn his lights out? Oh, heck no. No, he did not. He actually shut down. Wow. That's why I said that you don't know what SES is up to. Look, the truck actually shut down. He, he actually shut down for the night. <laughs> wow. Those lights is out. That is that is slick. Now that's what I'm talking about. Where everybody's running on their own pace. At their own steam. That's 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 Yeah, I think they're gonna be having our people actually on the road with us. That's gonna be that's gonna be slick.
both of those trucks actually parked themselves you know and that's the, technically the first time I've ever seen that really happen alright got an hour and 50, 50 minutes we going in and polish this off we're going to be done with this and uh call it a night Probably gonna be a minute before I actually edit this one, or I mean set it out, I mean upload it because I have other mods and other videos I need to put out. All my three, one, three, five uh, stuff need to be put out before this actually come out. So, so I do post, I do try to post videos daily, as daily as I can. If it ain't daily, it's a couple of days. So. Don't hesitate to hit the like button, subscribe, all that good jazz, you know, because I need it all in order to bring more content. You know, if I don't get more inspiration to bring more content, I, I can't bring it. You know, I'm just being as honest as I can. You know, and I'm spending hard earned money to upgrade some stuff. Now I, I can kind of, I don't have to worry about. Now they didn't optimize the game, now I ain't got to deal with that. You know. Even though I wanna still optimize I mean I'll still wanna get a uh, some updated stuff. But I mean when I built this computer I was I was trying to at least get five to six years out of it before I actually upgraded it. So I think I got more than more than that myself, but I'm not gonna uh let it go. I'd probably be, uh, it's still pretty, uh, pretty good computer, so. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Gonna be like we, now. I don't know if they're going to be able to do that with the um, multiplayer. That's going to be interesting to have have AIs in there with us. Stay left and then turn left. All right. Hold on. Give me a minute. Got to take this phone call real quick. Give me a minute. Sorry for that interruption. I had to answer my phone because my wife. So, all right, we pretty much almost done with this.
that actually got people. way also I did get in touch with one of the editors uh, my editors he, uh, I sent him some lines that I had edit so he's supposed to be putting some finishing touches on them and and whatnot so whatever he's gonna do hopefully well like he's probably gonna be putting some beacons and stuff like that on there ain't much that needed to be done to him but uh, He's gonna put his little touch on him. So. Alright, 22 miles to go. Rolling, boy, look at him. Rolling, boy. Why are trucks on the road? I'm surprised I didn't see this Mac on the road. It's not only when you uh, get a mod in the ro in the game that actually sets you up to. Have it as an AI too, so I'm surprised. All right, we made it to Clovis. All right, all right. Uh, Clovis has been discovered. to be discovered man a lot of roads Global meals.
we gonna let them park it because I'm gonna I wanna throw all that mess. Here we go. Alright, let them park it. That's all she wrote. Excellent. 782 miles. So he was able to accomplish that and still benefit. So the total, look at that. That's a lot of money. So we got 69,493 and our expense was 1,259 XP. So we got a level 55, still got another 37,891. Then at uh, Hazardous Class 6, gave us another 264 XP. Then Skill 6, Long Distance uh, uh, Delivery Bonus, still gave us another 17,223. Wow, you, man, that's what I'm talking about. Now, now, if I was doing this in the real thing, then this is the way I would do it. You know, I would actually, you know, without... And a lot of my money technically came by, you know, just just putting in work, you know. Um, not always using the cheat mod, but there's ways of getting around that, and you can actually spawn to the next to 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 your uh, to your city and still get the benefit and still get paid, you know. Uh, I don't know if you can do that. You can't do that in the server, but you can do that in a uh, single player. A skill rank six, another twelve thousand four hundred for that. Uh, uh, for the for the long distance, we got three hundred fourteen XP as well as two hundred and fifty one XP for the urgent delivery bonus. A total of one hundred thirty seven thousand double oh seven, which give us experience points of two thousand two two thousand eighty eight XP, which I mean. Even with the little, we only buzzed the notch, and then we should have been at level fifty six. But that's how they do you, you know. That's how they do you. So I can expect it, you know. So, but that is dropped officially, and we're gonna go ahead and get one more picture, and I catch y'all on the next video. Clock three forty two out.